वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट टू ऑफ आर डीप डाइव ऑन कोलेस्ट्रॉल लोअरिंग सप्लीमेंट्स इन पार्ट वन वी एक्सप्लोर फिश ऑयल गार्लिक एंड रेड ईस्ट राइस लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द ट्रेडिशनल इंडियन ऑप्शन लाइक अर्जुना एंड गुगुलू प्लस द मॉडर्न सप्लीमेंट्स लाइक बेरबेरिन एंड प्लांट स्टेरॉल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन इंडिया आयुर्वेदा ऑफन वॉक्स हैंड इन हैंड विद मॉडर्न मेडिसिन बट वेन इट कम्स टू कोलेस्ट्रॉल कैन एंशियंट हर्ब्स लाइक गुगुलू एंड अर्जुना रियली हेल्प और आर वी जस्ट क्लिंगिंग टू ट्रेडिशन Let's explore what the science and clinical practice say. Now, gugulu is a resin from the Comifora mukul tree used in Ayurveda for centuries to manage medo roga or disorders of fat metabolism. Its active compounds are the gugulosterones believed to be reducing cholesterol synthesis, enhance bile acid secretion, and they have mild thyroid stimulating and anti-inflammatory effects. Early Indian studies, mostly from the 1980s and 90s, suggested LDL lowering. by around 10 to 25% and triglyceride reduction by 15 to 20% and also some weight loss benefit as well now later trials from the US and Europe failed to replicate these effects now possibly due to variability in the gugulosterone content differences in diet and absorption and possibly a, a genetic response variation there was a 2011 indian study which showed that high dose standardized gugulo extract could lower ldl cholesterol by around 10 to 12%. However, this effect was seen only in doses providing at least 75 mg of gugul sterons per day. So that's a level rarely achieved with routine over the counter gugul tablets in India. For most Indian formulations, they lack standardized doses. They often mix other herbs like trifala or pushkar mool in the proprietary lipid lowering blends and they are often marketed without any peer reviewed evidence. Now let's come to Arjuna that is Terminalia Arjuna. It isn't directly marketed as a cholesterol reducer but it has significant cardioprotective effects like it improves endothelial function it may reduce ldl oxidation has mild diuretic and antianginal properties it can strengthen cardiac muscle and lowers blood pressure now there are some small indian studies which show mild ldl reduction and an increase in hdl over 6 to 12 weeks but again as i said most ayurvedic pills in the market are understudied unregulated and often mixed with unknown ingredients so my advice use these as adjuncts and only from trusted sources but never as a replacement for evidence based therapy in high risk patients and always inform your doctor because some herbs interact with statins anticoagulants or liver metabolism now gugulu and arjuna remind us that ancient knowledge sometimes holds real promise but we must pair it with modern science personalized judgment and honest expectation next come plant sterols also called phytosterols they are naturally occurring compounds found in vegetable oils nuts and seeds whole grains legumes and pulses they look very similar to human cholesterol at the molecular level so when you eat them they compete with cholesterol in the gut and it blocks their absorption so over 200 clinical trials including meta analysis have consistently showed that 2 grams per day of plant sterols can lower ldl cholesterol by 8 to 15% but they have no major impact on hdl or triglycerides now they begin working in just 2 to 3 weeks and it's one of the most well proven non pharmacological methods for cholesterol reduction it is recommended by the major cardiology societies like american heart association and the european society of cardiology now you would need to eat a lot of veggies to hit the 2 grams per uh, day requirement so they often taken as sterol supplements often in soft gel forms now you need 5 to 6 capsules daily that's 400 mg each to reach the therapeutic dose now these are best taken with your main meals for better absorption they are costly and not easily available great in theory but not practical for most indians now they could also have gi side effects like bloating or constipation think of them like a gut level statin gentle natural and targeted if you are aiming to improve your ldl without going straight to medicines or to enhance your current therapy talk to your doctor about adding plant sterols most of us think of isabgol as a simple remedy for constipation but did you know it also plays a quite but powerful role in lowering cholesterol psyllium husk or isabgol is the outer covering of seeds from the plantago ovata plant it's widely grown in india it's rich in soluble fiber which forms a gel in the intestines it traps bile acids which contain cholesterol 
promotes their excretion and forces the liver to pull LDL cholesterol from the blood to make new bile acids. Now, many large studies show that 10 to 12 grams per day of uh, isabgol can lower LDL by 6 to 10 percent without any major effect on HDL or triglycerides. And the best part, these results were seen even in patients already on statins, making it a great add-on. To get cholesterol lowering benefits, you need about 10 grams per day. So that's around 2 teaspoons twice a day. Best taken before meals with a full glass of water. So mix with water and drink quickly. Don't wait or it will turn into a wall putti. Start slow, maybe one a teaspoon a day and build up slowly to avoid bloating or gas. And always drink plenty of water with it. Stick with it daily for at least 6 to 8 weeks. Avoid taking it immediately with other medications as it may interfere with their absorption. Now some are also available as a flavored powder and contain sugar, so best avoid it. Also available as capsules, they have less bulk but you may need more capsules per day. So if you're looking for a safe, affordable supplement that works, Isab Gold deserves a place in your heart healthy routine. It helps with constipation, improves glycemic control and is easy to incorporate with roti, oats or dalia. Strongly recommended especially for Indian vegetarian. Niacin or vitamin B3 was once a popular lipid lowering drug. It's a water soluble vitamin found in food, but at high pharmacological doses, it changes lipid metabolism. Studies show that 1500 to 3000 milligram per day of niacin can lower LDL by 10 to 15 percent, reduce triglycerides by 20 to 30 percent and increase HDL by 15 to 35 percent. But here's the problem. Two major trials showed no reduction in cardiovascular events and it is very poorly tolerated with higher rates of flushing, liver toxicity and glucose worsening. So bottom line, not routinely recommended anymore. It's fallen out of favor for good reason. Berberin is the new kid on the block, gaining popularity among urban health conscious Indians. Berberin is a natural alkaloid that's extracted from plants like Berberis aristata. Used in Ayurveda and Chinese medicine for centuries, it's now studied for metabolic and cholesterol benefits. In multiple randomized trials and meta-analysis, 500 mg twice a day of berberin for 8 to 12 weeks showed reduction of LDL by around 15 to 25 mg, that's 10 to 15 percent. It does this by increasing LDL receptor expression, that's just like statin, and reduces intestinal cholesterol absorption. It also reduces triglycerides by 15 to 20 percent. Now the interesting part it is improves insulin sensitivity and HbA1c by modulating the AMPK pathway, just like metformin the sugar medication. But long term safety is still being studied, so there is no long term cardiovascular outcome data that is available and there is a potential for GI side effects. So please do not mix casually with anti-diabetic drugs and use only under supervision. So bottom line, should you take supplements for cholesterol? See, supplements can be adjuncts but not replacements for lifestyle and evidence-based medications. If your cholesterol is borderline or mildly elevated, this can help, especially the plant sterols and fiber. But if you are high risk, have diabetes or early heart disease, medications like statins are life-saving. Don't delay or get misled by WhatsApp forwards. Talk to your doctor, don't self-medicate and never replace lifestyle changes with pills, natural or otherwise. If you found this video helpful, do give it a like, share it with someone on the same cholesterol journey and subscribe to EduCardioWise for weekly videos on heart health. And if you are wondering whether you need cholesterol lowering medications, check out our previous video where we break down that in an easy to understand manner. In our next video, we will discuss about fatty liver disease and its relation to heart health. Until next time, stay heart wise and stay healthy. Jai Hind!